The Lagoon We Make a Difference Foundation unites over 100,000 children and teens worldwide to make a difference one good deed at a time. They joined the New York Mets for their summer food drive, donating over a thousand items to the River Fund New York. We sponsor the Lakumi Foundation Treatment Room at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital with our $1 donations. We also sponsor the Chef Maria Loy slash Lakumi Foundation Teaching Kitchen at the Floating Hospital in Long Island City. We write Never Forget Letters with the Broadway musical Come From Away for families who lost loved ones on 9-11. And we send kindness postcards to space with the Blue Origins Club for the Future. We help save acres of rainforest in Ecuador and preserve the environment with ECOS. We make equipment donations and award field renovation grants to communities in need with pitching for baseball and softball. We put smiles on the faces of nursing home residents with the nonprofit Three Wishes for Ruby's Residents. And our Dream Day program makes kids' career dreams come true. We are the Lakumi Make a Difference Foundation. Join us in changing the world one good deed at a time for a project or cause that means something to you. Together, we can make a difference. Hello, everyone, and welcome uh, from the Variety Boys and Girls Club in Queens. I'm Nick Katsouris with my co-host, Ava Tapateris. Hello. Member of our Lukumi Kids Club uh, board. Welcome to 2022 Lukumi Make a Difference Day uh, all over the world. We're very excited to start with this virtual program. And then afterwards, we have teams in 22 cities all around the world who are performing in-person good deeds. Uh, and I can't thank you enough. The Lagumi Foundation now works with over 100,000 children all over the world throughout the year. And it's because of people like you who are doing amazing things wherever you are. So keep doing that. Um, everybody always asks, what age group is the Lagumi Foundation for? Uh, this young, lovely young woman standing next to me started working with us in the second or third grade, yeah. right? Second. So, and Ava just started her freshman year at New York University here in New York. And here she is with her roommate with us, Maria, uh, doing great things for us throughout the day. But just to, I just, you know, I just wanted to uh, show you a short video of just to show you how far this young lady has come. So we're going to play a short video of Ava almost a decade ago. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Surprise to me. <laughs> what a cry. Make someone smile. Do a good deed. Lend a hand to a friend in need. Whatever you do, whatever you say, do something nice on Make a Difference Day. Let's celebrate Make a Difference Day with Lakumi, October 24th. What can you do to make a difference? <laughs> well, it just goes to show you that Lukumi is not just for young kids. Um, the, the whole premise of the Lukumi Foundation is to teach kids that philanthropy is not something that should be forced. It's not something that should be an obligation or something that you have to do. It should be something that you want to do. And so many kids all around the world, just like Ava, have grown up with this lesson and this message of doing kindness and doing good around the world. So that's why I just wanted to show you that video. So thank you, Ava, for, thank you. for being with us today. Nick is an amazing person who's done so many things and got so many kids involved. And really, Nick, you deserve your own. And we're happy to be here from the Variety Boys and Girls Club in Queens. Um, I see Andy Rodriguez, the director of the advisory uh, of the Variety Boys and Girls Club here. Um, and thank you, Andy, for welcoming us here. We're here because the Lagumi Foundation uh, will be doing a full year of after school programming here at the Variety Boys and Girls Club with uh, a local school, their satellite school, IS10 in Queens. So we thought it would be fitting to host the virtual event here. And with us here today, we have our entire New York Lukumi Good Deed Bus contingent. Thank you, everybody. We have uh, many people in the room all wearing their Lukumi shirts, um, and we're just happy to have you all here. But Ava, why don't you tell us about the other kids all around the world who are going to be participating? We have so many kids involved all around the world in the Lukumi Foundation, and it's so amazing to see how the foundation has grown to something, such a global network. So I'm proud to present to you the first round of videos from kids all around the world who are making a difference. Hi, I'm Adriana from South Florida. 
for Make a Difference with Lakumi Day will be volunteering for the Halloween Horse Show at Equine Assisted Therapies of South Florida. And then we will be filling treat bags for all the kids that are participating. After that, we will be dropping off supplies at the local animal shelter. Let's all make a difference with Lakumi on October 29th. My name is Rufus Karambulas. I am from Greece. I am a student in grade six at CGS school. My school is an authorized IBPYP World School since November 2011. With Make a Difference with Lukumi Day, we have a, a random act of kindness day. We try to approach and promote kindness across all age groups in our school. By encouraging acts of generosity big and small, our teachers give us the opportunity to promote feelings of gratitude, empathy and compassion. The response is a feeling of connection with others and the world around us as we make conscious choices to make the world a better place by lightening the moods of others. Let's make a difference with Lukumi! Hi, my name is Lava. Hi, my name is Cece. Hi, my name is Dimitri. We are with the Hellenic Community Academy in Deerfield, Illinois. Our school is looking forward to participating in the Make a Difference with Lukumi Day. We are kicking off our efforts with a Good Deed bus tour, which will start at the Greek American Nursing Home, where we will spend time with the residents to drop off items from their wish list. Our next stop will be my fee. Feed My Starving Children, where we will hand pack nutritious meals to be distributed to children around the world. We are also raising money for Philly Hot Free Kids to purchase warm clothes for homeless children in our community and donating items to our local food pantry. We can make a difference! Hi, my name is Charlotte and I am from Gander, Newfoundland, Canada. And today for Make a Difference Day, Gander Elementary will be visiting the Gander and Area Food Bank where we'll be presenting a donation of non-perishable food items. We will also be visiting the Golden Years Estate Senior Home and Orem's Manor with Halloween care packages for residents and zipper pools that students have made. This will be followed by a visit to our local animal shelter, the SPCA, where we will provide a donation of food and animal care items to the shelter. Lastly, we will hide our kindness rocks at Talmas Howe Demonstration Forest to brighten someone's day. Looking forward to an awesome Make a Difference Day here in Gander. The Lakumi Foundation is proud to work with an amazing group in Puerto Rico. After a rough period following the aftermath of Hurricane Fiona, the Lakumi Kids Club in Puerto Rico, under the leadership of Felipe and Yasmin, continue to do amazing things for Make a Difference with Lakumi Month, including providing first need articles for an elderly home, assisted by Athi O'Keefe. In honor of Make a Difference Day, the group will also do an activity on the beach and do some cleaning after Fiona's impact. As Felipe says, gracias Athi, Nick, and the Lakumi Foundation for making a difference to our kids and youngsters in Puerto Rico. We enjoy working with our youngsters and letting them know that we have needy persons among us. We could see the expressions of hope on their faces. Hi, my name is Arsh Pal. I'm 12 years old from Dubuque, Iowa. For Make a Difference Day, I'll be teaching an art lesson during the virtual event. I'll be teaching how to make a card, which you can then send to St. Jude's Research Hospital in Tennessee. Please consider donating at least $1 if you are sending a card. Hi, my name is Yvonne, and for the Full Make Difference Day, I'm doing Post-it Notes project for nursing home residents. Lastly, I'll also be donating $1,000, which I have raised by selling my artwork to the St. Jude Lukumi Treatment Room. What a great group of people. Thank you, Ava, for introducing those. And uh, now for our next presenter. I'd like to welcome Arsh Pal from Dubuque, Iowa to walk us through his card project. He is so accomplished and we are so proud to have his efforts here. Hey Arsh, Hi. how are you? Hello, I'm good, how are you? We couldn't hear you there for a second, buddy. How are you, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing good, how are you? Good, 
Good, good. Welcome. Uh, welcome to Queens. So what do you have for us today? Um, so uh, today I'll be teaching um, like how to make a card, which will then be sent to um, which you can then send to um, St. Jude's Research Hospital in uh, Tennessee. Um, and if you are sending the card, you can make it at least one dollar donation or more. Um, and so I'll introduce myself. I'm Arsh. Um, I'm 12 years old from Dubuque, Iowa. And thank you all for joining me for Make a Difference Day. And um, today I'll be showing you how to make a card, um, which you can then send to um, St. Jude's Research Hospital in Tennessee um, with a one dollar donation or more. Um, you can make at least a one dollar donation to uh, www.fundraising.stjude.org slash shakumi and the um, address for sending the card would be um, Lukumi, Fund Lukumi Foundation Program 501 St. Jude Place, Memphis, Tennessee 38105. So um, before we get started, um, this, if anybody, whoever wants to do it, make sure they have paper and paint. So um, let's get started. So first we're gonna grab um, our paper, fold it in half, just like this. We're gonna open it back up. And on one side of our paper, on one side, we're gonna just add a few drops of paint you can take any paint of your choice. I'm, I'm gonna take about four. Then we're gonna just do on one side of the paper, a few drops of paint. It should look like this on one side and then we're going to fold it again, press firmly on the paper and where the paint was. Once you fold it back open, you'll see it has made like a cool design. And um, just make sure to leave it open and to let it dry. Um, and let, let it dry because if you fold it again, it might get ruined. And once you have let it dry, you can then write a note on it, like my example. We are wishing you a fast recovery. Just like that. You can make as many as you want um, and send it to um, uh, St. Jude Research Hospital in Tennessee. The kids will really appreciate it. And then I will also be donating $1,000 to um, the St. Jude um, treatment room, St. Jude Lukumi treatment room. Which I have raised um, through selling my art. So yeah, back to you, Nick. Art, right, congratulations. Thank you. That's amazing art. Thank, Thank you. you for your donation. You've raised several thousand dollars now for the Lukumi Foundation treatment room and that picture on your screen now. In addition to the address where you can send your card and also the link where you can make a donation, that picture is actually the, uh, when we were down there, right, Ava, you were with us? Yes. For the opening of the Lukumi Foundation treatment room at St. Jude's Children's What makes it so special is that this room is sponsored by you, all of you kids. Many of you who have made one dollar donation that now have accumulated over eighty thousand dollars to help us out this year. Uh, we pledged one hundred and fifty thousand over the next five years to treat you. And thank you for all of your support. Ava, you lived your dream day down there, right? Ava's dream day was uh, to go to St. Jude for uh, so we brought her down there for yes. the, for the opening. Yes, I got to experience the room opening interact with patients and people who work at the hospital. It was a memorable experience and really hard to change. And Arsh, we want to thank you again. Now, Arsh is not just any ordinary kid. Arsh uh, recently received the Diana Award from the Princess Diana. So thank you, Arsh. We really appreciate um, your support. Also, you've featured on Good Morning America. 
keep up the great work, Ars. We're, we're really happy uh, to have you. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. And uh, make those cards, kids, and send them to uh, the address. Thank you, Arsh. And yes, send those cards in. You can make a difference in someone's life just by sending a card. So now we would like to go to another one of our wonderful partners, um, the Lagumi Foundation for Creative Solutions to be selected by the amazing company Epo to be one of their charitable partners. Nation. Hello. So please join me in going now to the president and CEO of Kelly Butler. Hello from Parsippany, New Jersey. I'm Kelly Vlahakis Hanks, President and CEO of Ecos, maker of plant powered cleaners that are safer for people, pets, and the planet. I was so honored to receive the Lukumi Parents of the Year Award along with my husband in January of 2021. It was extra special because I can still remember reading the Lukumi book series to my daughter when she was much younger. Today, in honor of Lukumi Make a Difference Day, I'm proud to announce the launch of our ECOS partnership with the Lukumi Foundation. It's a wonderful collaboration because we share the mission of teaching children valuable lessons about everything from preserving our environment to discovering that doing good for others is the secret to happiness. Our mission at ECOS for 55 years has been to create safer products. And our good deed this month is that for every bottle of laundry detergent that the consumer purchases in the month of September and October, we'll donate a dollar to the American Cancer Society, up to $75,000. This is so very important to me because my own mother passed away from breast cancer in 2007. And I know so many families are touched by this disease and we must work together to end it. We're also going to be giving a hypoallergenic uh, hand soap to the Lukumi kids to give out at the homeless shelter. And I'm gonna ask each one of you to do something for me on social. So we want you to number one, choose a good deed for the planet. Number two, take a photo of yourself doing that good deed. And number three, share the photo on social media and tag at Lakumi Foundation and at Ecos Claims. Thank you for all joining and thank you for making a positive difference today. Thank you, Kelly, for that wonderful message. And Ecos main headquarters is in Anaheim, California. So we are actually going to be bringing our Lakumi Good Deed bus out to Anaheim to do a bus in the Los Angeles area very soon. So uh, thank you, Kelly, and everyone. Thank you, Kelly. I'd now like to turn it over to Ruby Kate Chitsey, who is live from Arkansas, and she's done so many amazing things for nursing home residents. And that's actually our next stop. So let's turn it over to Ruby Kate Chitsey. My name is Ruby Kate Chitsey. I'm the founder of my nonprofit, Three Wishes for Ruby's Residents. Our nonprofit organization provides small wishes for nursing home seniors across America. This month, we hosted a national post-it note project and got back thousands of post-it notes with kind messages on them written by kids. We put them up in the walls of nursing homes and it was a great, simple, beautiful way to make a senior's day. Make a Difference Month is coming up and we want you to do something kind for your community. Thank you, Ruby. And uh, just, just a coincidence, Ruby is also a Diana Award recipient from the Princess Diana. Uh, this, is, this is a very distinguished award, and we're very happy and fortunate to have two of our Lukumi Kids Club board members. Thank you, Ruby. Thank you, Ruby. And we're so proud of you and so grateful to have you on board inspiring us. I'd like to next welcome someone who is so special to me and so special to the Lukumi Foundation. And that person is Chef Maria Loy. She's here to talk to us today about healthy eating and nutrition, and we are so grateful for her. Oh my, no, come over here. <laughs> Excuse me. She doesn't want to leave. <laughs> 
you are here. Okay. Thank you all. I love you all. I love you all out there. Okay. And go and buy a bottle of olive oil because olive oil makes the difference. Like Lukumi Good Deeds makes a difference. Olive oil makes a difference in your heart, in your body. And drink two spoons of olive oil every morning. You will see your hair, your face to be better and healthier. You know what I want in my life? Not to visit any at, hospital. Yes, it is. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not to visit any hospital anymore. And why? Because we want healthy people. We don't want to close the hospitals like that. We want to turn hospitals into teaching kitchen. How's that? Like the floating hospital. You know, they're smart. They want it before anybody else. So I don't want to take a lot of your time, but please do. Drink olive oil, cook with olive oil. Don't use any other fat. Don't use preservatives. Don't go, go out there and ask, you know, the, the store next to your house and say, do you have olive oil? And they will say no and say, okay, I'm not buying anything. So they will bring it. You know, we have to teach people. That's how we can make a difference. It's not only to give money or anything. We have to give ourselves. And that's what we call the foundation. I don't want to take more of your time because I know how precious those kids are. Wow. You know, I was crying before. Oh, Me too. Okay. Yeah, right? I was crying before. <laughs> we see you too. And I'm so proud of you, Eva. Aww. Okay. And um, I'm going to sit down there. No, 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 you can't oh, sit down yet. We have no. to talk about the floating oh. house. Our joint collaboration. We okay. Oh, Chef good. Maria Lloyd, okay. the Bumi Foundation teaching kitchen at the floating hospital that Maria inspired for the Lukumi Foundation during the time of the COVID pandemic. Maria was serving so many donors and patients, um, including at the floating hospital. And we decided because of Maria's great support of the Lukumi Foundation, we wanted to do something together. So we have sponsored the uh, Chef Maria Loy Lukumi Foundation teaching kitchen at the floating hospital. We have a short video about the floating hospital play for you. And then after that, we have a special presentation. So if you could uh, please play the video about the floating hospital's upcoming Candy Cane Lane. If you're asking the question of what is the face of homelessness in New York City, it's the face of a child. 80% of the homeless population in New York City are actually young families, women and children. The Floating Hospital is New York City's oldest pediatric charity hospital. It was formed in 1866. Today, we provide health care to homeless families, families living in domestic violence safe houses, and the greater residents of Long Island City, including some of the public housing in Queens as well. When you're treating a population that has difficulties the way our populations do, you need some means of going beyond the traditional healthcare model to both attract them and to also make certain that they continue to have access to care. into this so candy cane awesome. lane has exploded. <laughs> this is just not a toy. Yeah. It's a it's priceless just, it's emotion. A, yeah. We had three mothers out there already crying, like, oh, so this is like, the, this is Christmas. <laughs> Once the family has finished a mental health, dental, medical, podiatry, kids actually will pick up two to three gifts, toys, books, teddy bears, shoes, coats, whatever was donated from the community, and they'll go home with a bag full of joy. It gives mom a chance to actually go shopping for the kids. Sometimes it's hard when you're in the shelter. You don't get much. It makes them feel like they actually get a Christmas like everybody else. We have been here at the Long Island City community for over 10 years now, and they had embraced us, open arms, and we embraced them. Our volunteers is really the heart of our infrastructure. A lot of what we do just simply isn't paid for by insurance. Transportation, 
health education, the outreach, and the extensive amount of time we spend trying to get them in and out of the clinic, none of that is paid for by insurances. Sometimes it really isn't about giving back, it's just simply about sharing. Whether it's a small donation, whether it's a large donation, both of them go directly to the patients. They go directly to patient services, and they're helping someone one-on-one. -on -one. We think that's really one of the best principles upon which we're really founded at the end of the day. This willingness by a group of people 150 years ago to share and to make sure other people were taken care of. It makes me feel happy. I go home, I smile because I know that I'm doing something and I'm making them feel good. It's a partnership, it's a gift, it's hope, and it's definitely a change of life. Well, that was a great video, thank you. In your chat will be a link, uh, an Amazon link, if you would like to purchase something for the floating hospital uh, for their candy cane lane program to give a gift to someone for the holidays. And that wonderful woman in the video, Cynthia Davis, who was with us at City Field for the Mets Food Drive this past summer, is here with us today. And Cynthia, we would like to, On behalf of the uh, the Lafumi Foundation and Chef Maria Lloyd, to, for the for the, the teaching kitchen, we have pledged fifty thousand dollars from the Lafumi Foundation to go towards sponsoring this teaching kitchen, and we are making our second ten thousand dollar installment today to you. Wow, thank you. But we have the, the large check here <laughs> that we are throwing in here. And actually, let's take a picture for Jill yeah. right here. Yeah. yeah. Jillian is here taking pictures. You'll have to see everybody here in attendance today. So, so I'm going to say a few quick words. Absolutely. Just really thank quick. You, Cynthia. First, I want to say thank you to both of you, to you. us, you know, being the charity that you chose us to be. And it's true, especially for the cooking kitchen is so important for minorities because, as you know, people that's in safe houses and shelters around where they live, they are bodegas and stores that does not sell fresh fruits and vegetables. But thanks to you coming to the Floating Hospital, we're going to put a little twist on that with this um, found, um, this um, donation to go to these certain stores so they can bring in the fruits and vegetables and she can teach the residents on how to cook something healthy while they live in the shelter. But I want to say one thing to all you young people out here today. Your parents did such a wonderful job molding you, each and every one of you, to give back. That is something special. And each and every one of you, all over, is going to have a successful life. So give a round of applause to your parents, to yourselves, and I just want to say thank you so much for giving back to the Florida Hospital. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you. I appreciate you. Oh, we love her. Thank you, Nick. Thank I love you. you. Thank, you. Yeah. thank you so much. Thanks. And thank, thank you, you, Chef thank you. Maria Lloyd. Thank you. Thank you. Ava, what's next on the agenda? So I have more kid videos from all around the world to share with you. And I'm so excited to introduce another round of videos from kids all over the world who are making a difference with the Lukumi Foundation. So let's turn it over to them. Hi, my name is Arna Khan and I'm in the sixth grade in East Chester Middle School. My good deed is helping the homeless. First, I'll be packing drawstring bags with socks, soap, toothbrushes, and toothpaste. I want to do this because I want to help the people in need. Thank you. Hi, my name is Vivian Palazzo and I go to Ann Hutchinson Elementary School in Westchester, New York. For Make a Difference with Lakumi Day, I'll be playing my violin for the residents of Fountains at Riverview Nursing Home. Let's all make a difference with Lakumi on October 29th. Hey everyone! So I just wanted to do a little bit of talking about um, something very, very cool that I actually did last year. I don't know whether you, many of you remember it. Um, it's a bit, a bit of a different time I did it last year. But, so this year um, I'm going to be partnering with Come From Away and I'm going to be giving away some money and it's going to be going to people 
um, who cannot afford to pay for auditions and travel fare to auditions because one because one thing that I've always found really unfair is the fact that sometimes you have to pay to go to auditions plus that's on top of things like travel so um, that's what um, I'm going to be using my money for and thank you so much we've already had a couple of people who have added extra money on and everything like that and it just means so so much to me because the more you guys add on and the more you guys give the easier it gets for me to help people um, and that's one of my biggest aspirations in life so keep being kind to yourself and others and keep letting your light shine bye guys my name is Justin Sather, and for Make a Difference Day, I am taking care of the planet. I am creating environmental clubs in the USA and Tanzania. I'm excited to work with Justin and the student here in Tanzania to teach the danger of the plastic. We are working with community leaders and businesses to use less plastic. I want a world with less plastic, safe water for animals, people, and a clean environment to enjoy. Hi, my name is Deronda Brewage, and I am in Weirton, West Virginia at the Weirton Christian Center. Um, my, this is my second grade class in our after school program and our project for Lukami Make a Difference Day is to collect trash around our neighborhood where our building is and sets and um, collect trash. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Here in New York for Make a Difference with Lukumi Day, we will start off at Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church where we will donate books for the Philoptikos Book Drive. We will then board the New York Lukumi Good Feet Bus and head to our new partner organization, the Ready Boys Girls Club of Lukumi. Where we will watch the World After the virtual event, we will do several good deeds at the Variety Boys and Girls Club of Queens, including painting a card for a patient at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and donating $5 to support the Lokumi Foundation Treatment Room at St. Jude at fundraising.stjude.org slash Lokumi. We will also decorate post-it notes for area nursing homes, which will be put on the doors of residents to make them smile. And we will pack bags for the homeless, including toiletries, socks, hand warmers, hand sanitizer, and Eco's hand soap. The items will be donated to the Riverfront New York, which we had the pleasure with working with last summer during the New York Mets Summer Food Show. And with us, a special guest appearance by Mr. Mayor. Our last activity at Variety will be packing Halloween candy bags, which will bring us to our final stop at the Fountains at the Riverview Nursing Home in South Ohio, New York. At the nursing home, we will greet the residents there and we'll also have special performances by students from the Ann Hutchinson School who have partnered with this wonderful nursing home as part of the Lukomi's new Adopt, a nursing home program. Together, we can make a difference. Wow, what, what great videos, guys. Now, you guys you guys virtually just missed this. Guess who just showed up? Mr. Matt is here. Mr. Matt. <laughs> Mr. Matt, we have kids from all over the world here, from London, from Australia, from Tanzania, from all over the United States, Puerto Rico, Gander, Newfoundland, Canada, um, and the list goes on and on. So everybody, say hi to Mr. Matt. <laughs> 
So Mr. Med is going to also greet everybody here today and help us stuff some bags for the River Fund. We worked with the New York Mets last summer for their summer food drive. Many of you were there and you donated over a thousand food items together for the River Fund. And we were so uh, so in, taken by the River Fund and all the wonderful people there that we are doing a project here today for the River Fund, inspired by Ryan O'Connor in that video that you saw, where we're going to be packing bags for the homeless with Eco's hand soap, hand sanitizers, uh, socks, hand warmers, all kinds of things um, that uh, that can certainly come in need for the homeless. So, thank you, Mr. Met and the Mets, for introducing us to the River Fund. Um, so we have one last guest speaker, last but not least. She is an incredible woman. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> uh, she is an incredible woman. Her name is Genevieve Paturo, and she has an amazing uh, purpose in life. She, uh, I'll let you, I'll let her tell you her story. But um, it really, you know, it, it brought me to tears hearing her story, knowing what we're doing with the Lukumi Foundation. Uh, she's the uh, the founder and president of the Pajama Program, which we did as our Good Deed of the Month project in May. Uh, she was featured on the Oprah Winfrey Show. Listen, not not too shabby. Uh, Genevieve, we're so thrilled to have you here today to be with us. Thank you for inspiring all of us, and we can't wait to hear your story. Oh, thank you, Nick. I can't tell you how impressed I am. All of you kids, it's unbelievable from around the world. Your hearts are so big. I was in tears too, just like Chef said. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful program. I've heard so much about all of you from Nick, but to hear it and to see your faces tell your stories, it's beautiful. So made me want to share my story and um, let you know that over time, as you'll hear in my story, and I'm, I'm a big fan, what can happen to all of your projects as you get older and as you grow? So over 20 years ago, I was working here in New York City where I live, and I was busy working all the time and running around, and I missed having kids around. You know, I grew up with three brothers and sisters, but I was so busy. I didn't get married. I didn't have my kids. Um, you know, I, I never had kids, and I said, how can I help kids? Because just working all the time was just not filling my heart up. So I thought I'd go and I'd read to children in shelters. And I think a lot of you know about some of the work the shelters do. They, they take care of the kids who don't have a place to live, who might have been hurt or certainly are afraid and, and need some love and attention. So I bought children's books and I went to read at night to these kids. And I fell in love with them. And any of you who are working with kids, you know how easy it is to fall in love with a child who just wants a hug, right? So that's how I was feeling. And I saw one night after I was reading to them where they went to sleep at night. And it broke my heart that it was very bare room. You know, I had posters on my room, in my room, on my walls, and they didn't have anything like that. And there were a bunch of kids in one room but the worst thing to me was that they were sleeping in their clothes. And that broke my heart because I know I remembered, even when I was an adult looking at these kids in the shelter, I remember my mom tucking me in, right? And you have pajamas on and she's telling you stories, I bet, and giving you hugs and everything. And these kids didn't have that. So I thought I'd bring pajamas the next time. And I brought a whole bunch of pajamas. So I didn't want to leave any of them out and the stories. And I read the stories and then I gave the pajamas out. And I still can't believe what I'm going to tell you. One little girl, she wouldn't take the pajamas. She was a little nervous about taking them from me. And I gently explained that she could keep them. And I showed her that they were pink, like pink in her shirt, which was really dirty and didn't fit her well. And finally, she leaned in and she whispered in my ear, Miss, what are pajamas? And I almost fell over. I was shocked. And I bet a lot of you are shocked that there's a that there was this child who didn't even know what pajamas were. And it broke my heart. And all I could think about was bringing pajamas to as many kids in these shelters who needed them. 
And I started doing that 20 years, more than 20 years ago. And you know what the funny thing is? And you all know this because I can tell from your stories. The more people you tell about things that happened in a moment, right? One person made a difference in your heart and you decided to take action. The more people I told, the more people wanted to help, the more pajamas they wanted to, to give me. And I'm going to see if I can, yep, I can share this picture. Look at all these pajamas people were sending. And we had rooms and rooms full of pajamas. I couldn't believe it. But that's what's happening to you guys, right? So you tell people and they want to help. And all of a sudden, you are so excited because all these people are, are helping. It's amazing, right? And so now it's 22 years later. And we have given more than 7 million pajamas out to kids. And your numbers are going to grow. And the number of kids and people and seniors you're helping and post-it notes and all the beautiful pictures you're making is going to just jump up to the millions soon because so many people want to help you. I can tell. So it's just so inspiring. And I hope you stay and you keep at it. And remember... Everyone thinks, oh, one person had a great idea and is changing the world, right? And people probably say that to you all the time. They said it to me, but I learned, and I know you already know this. And if you don't, you will soon. It's not the power of just one person, right? One person can change the world. It's the power of one another that moves mountains and moves people. And that's, that's the best thing that I wanted to share the best thing that you probably already know that you couldn't do all this on your own. You need to share your story and people are going to want to say, how can I help? And that's the beauty of one another. So I always keep that little girl close to my heart. And because I didn't have a picture of her, I described her to my niece who is a really good artist. And I know that that one moment that changed everything for you will stay with you forever. So I asked her if I could describe her to her, if she would draw her. So I would always have her picture with me. And I know you always keep whatever that moment was in your heart to keep you going, right? When it's tough or when you people ask you about why you're doing this. And she made me a picture. I can... Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. Oh, good. I'm so glad I got to see it because I, I want you kids to know how important it is to keep that moment or that person or that interaction whatever gave you that joy to want to help and make a difference keep that close to you like I keep that little girl her picture close to me so congratulations on all your good deeds they're better they're extraordinary they're better than good and they give hope to the world and hope to others so congratulations and congratulations Nick and everybody working at the Kumi thank you Genevieve Genevieve, I've, I've heard your story many times. Uh, I've read your book, but uh, every time I hear that story, it's just uh, more and more inspiring. And, and you're right. You know, no good deed is too small. Things will grow. People will help you. Uh, so for all the kids that, that you were just talking to, you're absolutely right. If you have an idea or you have a project and you want to do it, you start it. Start it out small and it'll grow and people will come to you and people will support you. So um, I still can't get over 7 million pairs of pajamas. So Genevieve, thank you for uh, for being with us today, and um, and thank you to all the kids all around the world for joining us today. The virtual program is ending, but now the fun is beginning because all of you all around the world in 22 cities are going to be doing your in-person good deeds now. And I see out of the corner of my eye, Mr. Met is walking up towards me. I'd like to ask Mr. Met and Lakumi to join us. Come on, Lakumi. Lakumi's here too. And Mr. Met, you're doing so much with the Amazing Mets Foundation. You know, we're here to support you and, and to be a part of anything uh, that you do because we, we love what you're doing. So, you know, congratulations on everything that you're doing. Not to mention that we're big Mets fans, too. Let's go Mets. <laughs> and here comes Lukumi. And then after Lagumi comes up, I'd like to ask all the kids to come up here so that, and Maria Lloyd too, please come back up. I'd like to ask all the kids to come up so that everybody around the world can see all of you here from our New York, uh, our New York contingent. Mr. Matt.
Meet look for me. <laughs> Wishing everybody a 